Honorable Chancellor, uh, and all of you present here today, including my dearest family. I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know what to say. Uh, people who know me know that I'm rarely tongue-tied, but today is one of those rare occasions when I find myself at a complete <laughs> at a complete loss of words. I'm deeply grateful to Rai University for this honor, and I'm extremely proud to be receiving um, the honorary Doctor of Arts. Oh my God, that sounds. <laughs> uh, that sounds very big. <laughs> Uh, I had never imagined that I'd be standing here, that I'd be introduced as Dr. Vidya Balan someday, or maybe I had, you know, that is a power of, that is a power of true desire when Paulo Coelho said, when you truly want something, the universe conspires to give it to you. Maybe this is what he meant. I was nine years old, my dad had a massive heart attack. Thankfully, he survived it and uh, he's sitting here. But at that time, all I wanted to be was a doctor, a cardiologist. And for two years, I was obsessed with the idea of being a doctor. Two years later, ek do teen happened, and in ek do teen, <laughs> that <laughs> desire to be a doctor just evaporated. But I had put out the desire in the universe, and therefore today, I've been conferred with this honor. Um, so much has been said, and I, I really don't know how to react, except to say that um, my parents gave me the wings to fly. They make me me, and I, I feel so blessed to have been born into that family where I was always taught to be nothing but an individual. As two girls, my sister and me, we were, uh, we were told that the world is your oyster and go and conquer the world. And that's what each of us has tried to do in our own small way. It, it's also, um, I've never been this incoherent. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised, I'm, I'm amazed. <sighs> All this 11-year-old wanted to do was be a film actor, and I didn't know how that was gonna be possible. I knew there were no courses where I could enroll, or which I could enroll into that would prepare me to be an actor. And um, the world of cinema was one that we perceived as a big, bad, bad world full of wolves. But I think my parents had faith in the values they'd instilled in me. And they told me, whatever you do, just do with complete conviction and faith. And I went about doing that. There were disappointments. There, were, there was heartbreak at various points. But my faith has held me in good stead. <sighs> 10 years and many films down the line, I just feel nothing but gratitude to God, to my family, to all those people I've worked with who believed in me, who nurtured me, who brought out the best in me. Uh, and I hope that millions of girls the world over, especially in our country, get the same kind of opportunities that I did. Uh, I'm very, very honored 
that Rye University has instituted a scholarship program, a scholarship in my name, uh, whereby a girl child will receive free education, uh, higher education for a period of three years. And my work gains that much more meaning with every little appreciation and encouragement of this sort. I just want to thank each of you who's present here this evening. And I'm probably going to just ramble on meaninglessly. <laughs> but all I can say, it comes right from the heart. And I hope to live up to this honor that has been bestowed upon me. D Doctor of Art, I hope, or I think, films give us the chance to be a doctor of hearts. And I hope to be able to do that for the rest of my life. I hope to enjoy the love and blessings of everyone like I have for the past 10 years. And uh, my husband's going to be extremely embarrassed, but I have to say something about him. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Since Siddharth has come into my life, I've become a better person. And uh, I hope I always have you in my life, that's all. <laughs> I can assure you, I will always be there. <laughs> There's no running away from me. And to my precious gems, Ira and Ruhan, you can call me Dr. Vidya from today, Dr. Abhidha. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you. God bless.